Alright guys, in this video I want to talk to you about variable scope because whenever a lot of people are starting out with Python functions specifically, they have um, a little trouble understanding what variables you're allowed to use where. So I'm going to show you guys the very basic rules of variable scope. It's going to be really easy and save you guys a lot of trouble. So let's make a simple variable called A and set it equal to, I don't know, any number you want. Set it equal to anything you want, number, string, who cares. So now I want to show you guys two functions. You pretty much have to make any two functions you want. I'll just name one corn. And they're going to do the same exact thing. They're going to print A. So print out a number. And make another function called fudge. Again, the function's name or the function names don't really matter. And this is going to print A as well. Now below them, let's call both of them. So corn and fudge. All right, so pretty simple program right now. And whenever you run it, we can see they both print out the number. They both work properly. So the first rule of what variables your functions are allowed to use is this. If the variable is created outside the function and above it, your function can access that variable. So this can access A, and this can also access A. Now, why I'm even making this tutorial is because of this issue. Say that this variable was created inside corn. Let me tighten it up a bit. So now we already see that we have an error right here, and it says unresolved reference. And actually, if we try to run this, we get this little error message right here. So the other rule I want to say is whenever a variable is created inside a function, only that function that created it can access it. So again, since this A variable was created inside corn, only corn can use it. So if it was outside, any one of them could use it. But since it was created inside corn, this variable now belongs to corn. And corn is pretty selfish because it doesn't let any other functions use it. So again, that is why we get this error right here. And whenever we run it, we see it prints this number out. So corn prints it out fine, but fudge does not. So that is the really simple two minute explanation of variable scope. And uh, well, hopefully you guys understand very basic rules. I know that this, uh, let me think if there's something else I could teach you real quick. All right. Well, I want to teach you guys about like keyword arguments and this thing called like um, unknown amount of arguments, but it's going to take a little while, so I'll just save it for the next video. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.